This lesson is going to be over how to find area and perimeter of irregular shapes, of regular and irregular shapes. All right, let's review. Perimeter, the distance around the outside of an area. All, add all the sides together. So in perimeter, that means that um, the perimeter is the outside of the object. So the outside, all the way around this way. Okay, it has nothing to do what is, what, with what is in here. Okay, nothing to do with what is in there. Okay, so it only has to do with what, uh, what is around the outside. So in that case, um, if, there's, if I'm going around the outside, one, two, there's four units on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven units on this side, four units on this side, and seven units on this side. So to get the perimeter of the shape, you would add seven plus seven plus four plus four together. So that's 14, and that's 8. So that'd be 22 units. All right, so let's practice. So we're going to practice getting our perimeter of these shapes. So there are, to get the perimeter, you need to find the distance of each side. So in this case, there are, there, the distance is 3 on both these sides and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight on these sides. So to get the perimeter, you're going to add eight plus eight plus three plus three. So eight plus eight is sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. So this is twenty-two units. The green shape, there's three on this side, one, two, three, four, five, five on this side, three, five. So here, the perimeter would equal five plus five is ten, three plus three is six, so sixteen units. Now, you cannot just count like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Because that's not the perimeter. You actually have to say the distance on each side. So this is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 4, and 7. So this perimeter is 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22 units. The orange shape has 2 on the top, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 on the side, 2, 7. So 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So the perimeter is 18 units. The last one is 3, 2, 3, 2. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, what if we have irregular shapes like this? What we have to do is we have to find the distance of each side. So this side has two. One, two, three, four, five. This side is one. This side is three. Two. Four. One. Four. So you see how I trace the outside? It's easier for me to make sure I get all sides if I trace. So that means we have to add 4 plus 2 plus 5 plus 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 4 plus 1. So we have to add up all of those numbers. So on your calculator, 4 plus 2 plus 5 plus 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 4 plus 1. And I got 22 units. The next one, that's one unit, two, three, so one, 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 three, one, 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 one. 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Next one, there's two, three, one, three, one, one, two, one, one, three, one, three. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 22, 23, 24, 25. I hope that's 25. We're going to check it. I forget where I started. So I'm going to start right here. 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Oh, I did. I went I counted one too many. So this is 22 as well. Let's try this one. Oh, this one is the same as last time. We don't need to do that one again. So this is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 2. So we'll start here. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the most important part of this page is remembering that you get all of these little one, little, little one units there on the side. Every side is important. Now, to find the area is the amount of space inside. So now, all of these spaces inside, that's what we're looking for now. So to do that, it's length times width. So if our length and width here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 4. So to find the area, we do 7 times 4, which is 28. So this is 28 units inside. So to find the area of these shapes, it's just 3 and 7. Sorry, 3 and 8. So 8 times 3 is 24. This is 5 and 3. So 5 times 3 is 15. This is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 7. So 7 times 4 is 28. This is 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 7. So 2 times 7 is 14. And then 3 and 2, 3 times 2, whoops, I was at is 6. So area is very simple, you just multiply it together. Now, what if we have irregular shapes like this? What if we have irregular shapes like this? Well, that means we need to split them up into regular shapes, shapes that are equal. So if we we're looking at this shape, we can split this shape here and that makes this portion have a length of 2 and this portion have a length of 4. It has to be this, like, it has to be 2 and 2 and 4 and 4 to be regular. So we can find the area of this shape first, which is 8, and then we find the area of the bottom shape, 1, 2, the length of 4 and the width of 3, and 12, and then you add them up, 12 plus 8. which is 20. This shape, we have to split it up like this. You have that shape on the end, that shape on the end, and the shape in the middle. So we know that this shape is 1 and this shape is 1 because it's 1 times 1, 1 times 1. The middle shape is 3 times 1, 2, 3. So that's a 9. So then you add up the shapes, 9, 10, 11. So the area equals 11. Okay. What about this red shape? We can split it up here. We can split it up here. So let's do the top first. 2 and 3. So 2 times 3 is 6. 
3 times 4, there's 3 here, and 4 at the top, so that's 12, and then that's 1 and 2, which is 2. So then it's 6 plus 12 plus 2, 18, 19, 20. So this one is 20 as well. Now, what if we have no blocks inside that we can count? Well, to find the perimeter, we would add up all the sides. So 10 plus 10 plus 3 plus 3. 10 plus 10, 20, 23, 26. To find the area, we would multiply the length times the width. 10 times 3 is 30. So perimeter is 26. Area is 30. Here, we have all the same sides. So 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6. Twenty-four. To find the area is six times four, which is twenty-four. This down here, they don't give us this side or this side, but we know that this side has to be eight because this side is eight, and this side has to be six because that side is six. So six plus six plus eight plus eight. And to do it faster, if you want to do it in your head, you can, or use your calculator. 6 plus 6 plus 8 plus 8 is 28. And then the area is 6 times 8, which is 48. All right, this would be 10 plus 10 plus 4 plus 4, 28. And then 10 times 4 is 40. So the perimeter is 28, the area is 40. Now, what if we have a shape that looks like this? Well, to add up the perimeter, we would add up all sides. So let's make sure we have all sides. 1, 6, 6, 2, 8, and 7. So 1, 6, 6, 2, 7, 8. Thirty. Now to get the area, we can't just do length times width because we have more than that, so we need to split up our shape. So I'm going to split my shape here. So that means that this is no longer 8. Okay, it's 6. So 6 times 1 is 6. And here, it's no longer 6. This is 7 times 2, which is 14. So 14 plus 6 is 20. Hopefully this has helped you with area and perimeter and being able to separate those um, shapes out to find the area. If you need any more assistance, look at the rest of the lesson or contact your teacher.